we were laying in bed and it was like my one morning to sleep in and <laughs> like how we are right now laying in bed but he wakes me up and says babe I can't sleep I just can't sleep at all I haven't slept for days and I said what and he's like I just Desert, at Desert Mayhem, when I talked to Chelsea about Drift Week, I just wanted to go. It was so bad. I just want to go. I just need to go. Because <laughs> we talked to Chelsea at um, about it at Desert Mayhem, and he told us all, all about it. And um, and we kind of got excited about it, but then it turned out there were, it was, there were already so many drivers, and um, nobody really knew us at that time, so it was hard to get in. And, uh, so Rudy woke me up and said, we need to go, we need to go. So I said to him, well, then you better get the Corvette hooked up to the trailer and, um, well, put tires on it and the rocket box on top of it and show them what you're coming with because they're not going to be able to, they're just going to tell you no, unless you actually put some effort into it and really show them who you are. So, Rudy got out of bed. <laughs> You're crazy. Are you going to talk at all? Or are you just let me talk the whole time? He got out of bed. He went and got the trailer. He had one arm at the time because he just got surgery on his elbow. And he hauled the trailer out of the orchard <laughs> with his one arm up to the shop. And then hooked up. Oh, and I think the Corvette at that time had, like, stuff all over it. Flat tires all the way around. Oh, flat tires, yeah, because I just drifted it and... I hadn't fixed the tires yet but um so he so he hauls it up there hooks it up to the vet and it's like seriously there's like I don't know eight inches of snow in our driveway everywhere oh, yeah. it got stuck when we pulled it out we yeah had, we had to push it back in with so, another vehicle yeah so um this is five days before drift week was about to begin right and people other people had months to prep yeah. Ask Matt Field how long he got ready. Yeah. Months. Months. And when was the last time I drove that car? It was... Months. Months. So, so he wiped it down, got all the crap off of it, filled up the tires, put it out in the driveway, hooked up the trailer, put all the, all the tires on the trailer. I went and got all our 80s outfit dress-up clothes to wear and put those on. And we made, it took us like, I don't know, I think four hours, three hours to make a video to um, send to Chelsea, which he sent to Aaron Losey. So thank you, Chelsea. I really appreciate that. And um, they called us like right away and said, they were like, that's just what we're looking for. People like you. So that's how we got invited to go to Drift Week. And now we have so many new friends and it's just been super awesome experience for us, and I'm, I definitely think we were just meant to go, and and just kind of all worked out, you know, how it was supposed to. Hey Chelsea, Rudy Hansen here. I know we chatted a little bit about Drift Week at Desert Mayhem, and I haven't slept since. I wanted to let you know this ain't the trailer queen we'll be bringing. I've got a C4 Corvette, custom angle kit, carbon fiber hood, dual rear calipers, and a Link Filter motor. And yep, she's a convertible. I ain't scared. If you could find a spot for us to come shred or just be a groupie, be super rad. If you have any questions, you hit up B Whitnick. He knows I'll bring it. Ow! Ow! So I hope you guys liked our video of our uh, entry to get into Drift Week 2020. In the future, we're gonna have some more videos of all of the events and the driving days that we really haven't even gone over. So stay tuned. Thanks guys. Thanks guys.